In this problem, we're going to create a truth table for this statement here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll list all the possible truth values for P and Q. So we have P and Q. So a simple case is when they're both true, so T, T. Another possibility would be if P is true and Q is false. Then we can interchange these so that P is false and Q is true. And the very last case is if they're both false. Now we have to figure out what else do we need to work up to this statement. We've already got Q, so we just need the not P. So let's write that next. And now from what we have written here, we can actually write not P and Q. Right? We can combine uh, these last two to get this last statement. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in this truth table. Let's work vertically. So when we're looking at the negation of P, in order to assign this a truth value, we have to look at P and then just take the opposite truth value. So P is true, so not P is false. Here it's true, so this becomes false. Here it's false, so it becomes true. And here it's false, so it also becomes true. When we're looking at not P and Q, what we do is we look at uh, not P and Q. And in order for this to be true, they both have to be true. Otherwise, it's false. So in the first case here, you see uh, not P is false, so this is false. In the second case, they're both false, so it's false. In the third case, you see they're both true, so it's actually going to be true. And in the very last case, um, the Q is false, so the whole thing is false. Remember, the and is only true when both are true, so uh, they're all false except the case here where they're both true. And that's it. That's the truth table. I hope this video has been helpful.